am doing a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. Uh, it is so close. It is, I think, literally tomorrow. So I wanted to do a really romantic, soft look, and this is what I ended up with. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look, definitely keep watching. All the products will be listed down below in the description bar, and I am using all affordable products that you can possibly find at your local drugstore or even order online, but everything is really affordable, and I really wanted to focus on that today. So you can look gorgeous and do a really nice romantic look for Valentine's Day and not break your wallet. So I hope you guys will enjoy and let's get right into it. All right, guys, I'm trying out my new lights today, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the eye look. So I'm using this really beautiful palette from LA Girl Cosmetics. This is one of their new Beauty Brick palettes. This is the Nudes palette. Uh, I haven't really tried this out yet. I did wear it one other time. I just thought this palette would be perfect for Valentine's Day or any sort of like romantic look because you have all these really pretty pinky, rosy, warm type shades. All right, so I'm taking this shade right here, which is the fourth shade down. And this is a really pretty like taupey mauve color. And I'm using this on the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is going to go right into the crease. And this is just a really pretty soft blush color. Next, I'm taking one of these darker shades at the bottom here, this shade right here. I'm using the e.l.f. contour brush. And I'm going to start packing this color on the outer corner. <laughs> the outer corner of my lid. And I'm just tapping this on and placing the color where I want it. All right, so that's it. That's the complete look. No, <laughs> just kidding. All right, and now we're gonna go in and blend that out. No name brush. I think I got this from Target like years ago, back when I was a teenager. I'm going back to that e.l.f. brush and I'm just gonna buff out the edges here a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to incorporate those same colors on the eyes and we're going to take that first color we used in the crease and I'm going to put a little on the lash line. Alright, and now I'm going to dip into that darker shade that we used in the outer corner and I'm going to pick a little bit of that up. And this time I'm going into the lashes. I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just kind of blend that out. Oh, look at those. They're so pretty. How do you choose? I think, hmm, I don't know. I think this one's going to look really pretty. So I'm taking this very metallic shimmery pink. It's the third one down. Taking that on the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Shazam! That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. So pretty. So I'm just tapping this all over the lid to give it some shimmer. All right, and I'm just gonna go back through with that same little brush and just blending, just blending out the edges just so there's no harshness. So for the inner corner, I'm gonna mix that same color we did on the lid and mix it with the white. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner and lashes off camera because it takes me forever and I struggle with doing that on camera. So maybe I could do a separate video, that way I could reference that to you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be using, again, very affordable products. This is the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And for mascara, I'm using my two favorites right now. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Extreme Measures Lengthening Mascara on the upper lashes. And for the bottom lashes, I love using my Waterproof Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I almost forgot, I'm gonna take this matte white shade here and we're gonna highlight a little bit underneath the brow because I forgot to do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little bit under here. And one last thing, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Cool Pencil in Calling Your Buff. It's a nude and I do like it. It's a little bit, just any nude pencil you have. All right, so to finish off the face, I'm using my favorite affordable contouring palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's called, whoops, 
Forever Nude, <laughs> and this is a light medium shade. I'm going to take the contouring shade and just shape my face a little bit, nothing crazy. I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush, and I'm just going to run through this really quickly. Today I am going to use this blush in this palette. It's just a really nice, pretty soft, shimmery pink. For a highlighter, I'm going to be using this really pretty, pearly, shimmery shade right up here. There's a yellow one and there's a really nice sort of pinkish pearl color. And I love it. I think it looks beautiful on fair skin. The BH Cosmetics Fan Brush. Look at that. Ooh, that is so pretty. Put a little down my nose. And a little on my cupid's bow. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Setting Spray just to spray everything up down. Alright, and to finish off this look, of course, we have to do the lips, right? So I picked a really nice color combination. My lips are so dry right now, you guys, so Bear with me. I'm using the e.l.f. Lip Liner and Blending Brush Duo. This is from their studio line, and this is in the shade Nude Pink. This is just the most prettiest, softest pink color. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my lips with this guy. And for lipstick today, I just had to use this shade, you guys. This is one of the new Milani Matte Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Blissful. Oh, I just did a review on these. I raved about this color when I tried it on. It's the most beautiful, soft, rosy pink. These last a long time on the lips, I find, even through eating and drinking. So if you're going out to dinner on Valentine's Day, um, I recommend these lipsticks or the Jordana ones. They're long-lasting and they're matte. Now you could definitely leave the look like this, but since my lips are so dry today, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my lips, but I'm using the e.l.f. Extra Lip Gloss in the shade Brian, and I think this will match really nicely. These are so creamy and moisturizing. You could actually wear these on their own. They're that good. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on our top, and this also is going to make your lips look fuller and juicy for your valentine. <laughs> Just saying. Alright guys, so that's it that completes this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a really great Valentine's Day weekend and celebrating. And even if you don't have a date, go out with your girlfriends and have fun and get all dressed up and sexy and, and feel good. You don't have to have a date for Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're into my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and I post videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on a Sunday. I will see you all in my next video and remember smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys. Happy Valentine's Day!